Hello everybody, it's Captain Thief, and you know, we're, we're just doing a bit of, you know, mystic, wonderful Christmas, or Winter's Day cheer, whatever, I don't know. I just wanted to quickly do, you know, the Winter Wonders Land puzzle thingy, just, you know, as a way for me to look back on and say, yeah, that was pretty hard, but, you know, not all that hard anyway. So, um, yeah, it's been a while since I played this, or, you know, did a video of this, that was like Super Adventure Box, like, levels ago, guys, that, that was a while back, okay? quite a while back and yeah that guy just plummeted to death death those are real players not just in pcs and i gotta get all the way to there yeah tons of fun gotta do this thing for your daily or you don't you could also play bell hero as i like to call it but um you know i, I just think that this one is a little bit quicker if you're good at it so you know we're just going to be jumping from snowflake to snowflake and that's just going to be how it is because, you know, it's, it's Winter's Day, man. You, you gotta get with the times. Now, it may seem like, oh yeah, the snowflakes are falling. You gotta quick up, but actually they're not falling that quickly. But you were correct in your assessment that uh, you gotta be quick. Because, you know, I'm slowly dying, if you couldn't tell. And if I don't make it to the uh, campfire in the middle of the jumping puzzle, well, guess what? I just uh, die of nestor all over and it's uh, not all that fun. There's no real risk here. I mean, if I die, I just get to try again almost instantly. In fact, instantly, I would dare say, because it teleports me right back to the beginning. There are shortcuts you can take like this one. Or, uh, you know, just trying to use your WASD keys in creative ways that, you know, you probably shouldn't. Oh, yeah, I'm about to die from uh, the cold. Get me to that campfire. Okay, barely made it. Barely made it. But this is the first hurdle, the first major hurdle I usually come across. As all these presents explode, once you start jumping on them, and you know, a, a fellow player just happens to go before you, and well, guess what? They all blow up. And chances are, even at 4 30 in the morning, there's plenty of people here to go ahead and mess up my day, so my best odds is to go when they go. Except I didn't like how that present in the middle just kind of decided, hey, I'm gonna blow up right now. See, if I went when she did, I would have died too. Or, you know, restarted, whatever you want to call it. You know, I don't really mind this jungle puzzle so much. It's not as much. It's not as stressful as the Halloween one was. All right, and I wanted to do a video of the Halloween one, but I was just like, eh, not today. I'm not in the mood. Not today. I'm not in the mood. Not today. I'm not in the mood. And then it was gone. And when I uh, oh, ow. Um, someday I will figure out what killed me. But until that day, that's just not going to happen. Uh, this is the same way I went. So I'm just going to go ahead and die and take a different route. Just to, you know, get more exposure here. You know, take it slowly and uh, fall through a snowflake that somebody already jumped through. Thanks, jerk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everybody is entitled to do whatever they want in this jumping puzzle. It's not like anyone trolls anybody else. It's not like you can really troll anybody else. I can't smack somebody with a snowball. In fact, when this first came out, you kind of could. I mean, not really, but you could. Uh, they actually started you out in a huge law, or a huge... Uh, peppermint twist lobby. Whoa. I don't see why my head hit that. That was clearly my foot. They started you out on a peppermint twist lobby, kind of like this thing that I'm on. And you like threw snowballs at everybody until the jumping puzzle was ready. And then everyone went at the same time. And it was chaos. It was utter, utter chaos. But I got that jumping puzzle too. Because I'm a trooper when it comes to jumping puzzles, guys. Just not when it comes to that Borderlands 2 one. That one, that one the game took E uh, pity on me and gave me the easy way out and I'm like no I still want to do this and yeah I don't know I agree with you Mordecai I hate jumping puzzles too no wait I actually like jumping puzzles just not in Borderlands 2 I guess all right something's wrong here there we go didn't look like there was a way to jump across okay now I might be a scrub a nub a noob a scroob uh, that's a new one but I'm not using my mouse for directions like I probably should be yeah, that was me screaming, sorry. Okay, third route that time. And yes, that gingerbread man is alive and it's kind of scary. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit, Monsignor. I, I should be using the mouse to kind of turn myself, but I I don't play that way. I'm sorry. Just how I am. I don't, I'm not the kind of person who apologizes either. I'm sorry, that's just the way I am. <sighs> okay, yeah, this is kind of a pain to do for your daily. It's a lot better just go through Bell Hero. But, you know, I, I, don't, I don't feel like Bell Hero right now. And my finger's actually kind of cold, so it's stuck on the W key. Um, this one's the one. I can feel it, you know. Maybe it's just the combination of everybody going at once. 
But I just have a feeling that we're going to do this because, you know, safety in numbers, especially since, you know, they'll keep me warm. They won't actually keep me warm. Quick disclaimer, uh, everyone's dying just like in real life. Uh, let's, let's turn the conversation back to something a little more optimistic. But, uh, yeah. In fact, they kind of throw you off because you can't really see your character to see if you've got sure footing or not. But you know what? I'm okay with these guys because they're okay with me. You know, we, we hang out, we pal around, we're on snowflakes, we're laughing at snowmen, etc. Okay, so this route is just about done. I mean, not just about, just about done. But I do have my good premonitions about it. I'm very auspicious about it. Once you made it to, you know, peppermint twists or whatever these things would be called. Discs, peppermint discs. You know you've pretty much got made. As long as you've had, I don't know, at least 2,000 health. <sighs> Not looking forward to this part, guys. I, it always kind of stresses me out, especially since I'm like, ah, oh, do I race the people to the present and try to jump first, or do I just let them go, watch them die? Uh, that guy used to serve a purpose. He doesn't anymore. He, oh, 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 oh. Okay, my jumping puzzle skills failed me because my guy decided not to jump at all jerk but yeah all three routes bottleneck there that's why that's a huge hindrance to me because uh, <laughs> you're always gonna have someone come there five seconds you can't just wait for everyone to go and wait and then go uh, because by the time you know the presents come back someone else is there and guess what you're gonna wait for them then they're gonna jump and probably make it or fail or something and then just terrible things happen all around also, I'm doing this to kind of warm myself up to, you know, some other series I'm going to do. And, uh, you know, this is, this is excellent work because it's kind of dynamic, yet I kind of already know what I'm doing. So, you know, yeah, stuff. Also, I totally have my uh, double click to dodge thing turned off because I was flying off of Cinnamon Twist all day long. So, um, yeah, I should probably have a better angle when I jump. All right, you. Um, that present just blew up. I, I don't want to go. You... There's the blue presents. They're rarely there. Uh, in any case, you used to be able to talk to this guy, and he would give you the option of stop, stop, stop talking, stop talking right now. You used to have the ability to uh, get an extra life, or forgo that extra life, and um, instead um, get an extra gift if you made it. Oh, hey, I made it. Probably through cheating, but whatever. Okay, uh, that gust can totally blow you off. Oh, is your name X? Because I've been told that I would make acquaintance with a man named X and that X was going to give it to me. So, are you going to give it to me, X? X going to give it to you? Anyway, um, yeah, we just, we're, we're pretty much on the home stretch as long as nothing horrendous like that one thing that killed me earlier kills me. Um, because, you know, you just got to be patient with this one. Never get hit by that boulder. You're, it's pretty much instant death. Always go off to the side with these peppermint discs. Don't get hit by the red circles. Which are snowballs, I think. Get on this gift, but then go one further, because that gift is not, you know, outside the snowballs radius enough. Jump across things, and, uh, hey, we're inside the present, maybe. I might have made it, I might have died. We'll find out. I win. Yeah, see, those things are freaking freaky. I mean, not these things. They're just, yeah, but the, the, the gingerbread man. Stop moving. And for jumping on a whole bunch of, uh, Snowflakes, guess what we get? A whole bunch of snowflakes. Okay, well, that was the Winter's Wonderland Day super amazing jumping puzzle of stop laughing! Stop laughing at me! Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, this has been Captain Thief, just, you know, doing some jumping puzzles, and I'll see you guys in the next one.